As most of you know, the market is tied to the player count and player count has been tanking. So I'm going to be going over what you should be doing and when you can start expecting a shift in the market. Now, I want to start off by saying I don't even consider this to be CS2. We're missing a ton of maps and a ton of game modes that kept a lot of people into the game. And of course, the endless bugs that we've encountered, as well as issues with sub tick and movement feeling off. Overall, it's not a very polished experience until we receive enough content and updates into CS2 to make it at least equal to that of CSGO. It's going to feel like a beta. And until we see the player count even out at minimum, the market is still going to suffer. CSGO Empire offers a 0% buy or sell fee with a full peer to peer market system, meaning if you're worried about community bans, it is not mandatory to put your API key in, so there'd be no way that Valve knows where you're trading. This market has high liquidity and an auction system where once you list your item, anyone can bid over that price for the next three minutes if they wanted the skin. If it doesn't sell within those three minutes, then it gets listed onto the market for that price. This allows you to snipe some deals as low as 95% above, and once you sell your skins for coins, there is no wager requirement to withdraw. Thank you to CSGO Empire for sponsoring this video. So then the question becomes, what should you be doing now? And well, the main thing is to stay away from play skins. With their high liquidity and dependence on demand, you'll see tons of fluctuations and many examples like the Bayonet Tiger Tooth, which have completely corrected to pre-CS2 high prices. And it makes sense when you look at our average 24 hour player count as it's much lower than what it was in March right before the announcement. And so with CS2's success promised to be in the future and the player count pulling back so hard, investors have become quite worried, hence the massive crash. But you can still definitely make money. Even over down periods, it's been proven by many items that you can still be profitable as long as you are smart with what you're picking. Generally, items with a lower supply that maintain a decent demand or rare drop pool cases are going to grow the most despite the market trends. And when we'll see it finally come back up is a whole nother question and really hard to predict. But look at it from the perspective that we will need something important to happen or the lack of bad things to happen, meaning improvements in the game gradually, to stimulate the growth that we've been accustomed to in the market. And neither of those options seem quite realistic anytime soon. Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen, but, but logically speaking, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a good few months before we see anything consistent. And with a Steam sale coming up and an operation potentially, it's really the nail in the coffin for everything. I've briefly talked about this before, but with the state of the CS2 release, obviously we don't know for sure, but this could potentially be the best time to pick up investments for the next decade. It could be a very similar situation to buying skins early in CSGO days. It's just a little more inflated. Keep in mind that the player count before the CS2 hype was consistently rising without any major updates or changes. And so if any of your favorite items drop below the price that they were at that time, and you believe CS2 will reach the same if not higher heights than CSGO, voila, you've discovered an investment opportunity. It's impossible to give an exact recommendation for your situation, and I think both holding on and selling your investments slash items at the moment is justifiable. You're either going to be cutting your losses, and if you're okay with that, by all means, but if you have the time and don't need the money like me, I'm not going to be selling off my items. But in conclusion, I'm much more confident confident in investments rather than play skins. And if you're now playing a little bit less CS2 than you did CSGO like I am, your money should be in investments anyway. But I mainly recommend deciding what you want to invest in and choosing when you want to invest into it and focusing on that rather than what you're currently holding. And until we see a change from this bear market, I'm personally going to keep my money out of play skins. But that's all. Subscribe if you want me to make more of this kind of content. Bye bye.